Hi, I'm Justin Osmer and welcome to Global Garages. The Peterson Automotive Museum invited me here to dirt fish. What's dirt fish you might ask? Well, it's 300 acres and 27 miles of a rally paradise. And we're gonna have the chance to meet Steve, the founder and owner, a little bit later today. Steve has one of the most renowned and exotic collections of rally cars you've ever seen. So get ready for an incredible day. So here we are, 10 years of rallying out in the great Pacific Northwest. No better place to do some rally racing in this incredible facility. 300 acres, 27 miles of track. Plenty of places to get dirty and have some fun. The team out here at Dirtfish has a really incredible process. They start up there in the classroom, of course, then you move to the simulators, which is your first chance to get behind the wheel. Might be virtual, but then down here you get some reality. The foundation of Rally, of course, and Subaru is right there with them. All-wheel drive, superpower machines. Get behind one of the wheels of these machines and get out on the course. The Peterson Automotive Museum is all about exploring automotive passion, and Steve certainly has a passion for rallying. A little bit later today, he's going to give us a tour of his incredible collection of rally cars, and if we're lucky, we might even be able to see them in action. Pretty amazing suit collection here. Yeah, so Colin McRae, the one and only. Amazing career, amazing driver. Well, in Global Garages, we get the chance to see some amazing collections, and this is certainly one of them. And now as we come in, he's got some incredible, incredible cars. Wow, this is absolutely amazing. First of all, the setting is gorgeous, but then look at this collection of cars. Unbelievable. Can't wait for Steve to get here to tell us a little bit more, but before he does, why don't we poke around ourselves? I just can't believe I'm here. This is just incredible. These cars are just absolutely amazing and I can't wait to learn a little bit more about them. Hi Steve, so good to see you. Well, thank you so much for having us out here. This is absolutely incredible collection. Well, I appreciate you coming out and uh, to me it's, um, it's pretty astounding. It's one of the first times I've seen this part of the collection all together. Well, it's all about driving that car passion, right? So tell us a little bit about, first of all, how many cars do we have in the building here right now? Uh, well, I've not counted. <laughs> and, and, and we might have one less. Yeah. How long have you been here? So, <laughs> but, you know, th this is a collection which is primarily rally based. Uh, and it goes back to my youth. It goes back to growing up with rally in the north of England. So gradually, out of my midlife crisis, I've been fortunate enough to put together a group of cars um, that reflect my early passion on motorsport, but, yeah. but also how I've grown and I guess my, uh, my thought process, my interest has developed. There's some pretty old cars um, and there's some newer cars. So what you see here is primarily road cars yeah. um, from which the Works Rally car came. Uh, I have a separate group of cars, which my wife knows some of them, something about, <laughs> but maybe not totally about, um, which match some of these road cars. Got it. The Group B era yes. um, is probably the most well-known period of rallying. Um, it was the day when you developed the fastest, lightest car to go through forests and yeah. battle with trees. What could possibly <laughs> go wrong? So when we look at it, you know, Group B 
had some oddities. Yeah. <laughs> some things like this. The I've Citroen. never seen this before in my life. You might notice that the, the nose of the car overhangs the front wheels quite significantly, the front does. axle. Yeah. In, in a time when people were trying to put weight amidships, so much weight, the engine is forward of the front axle, acts like a little bit of a snow plow. Ah. And with the hydroelastic suspension, it's not what you think, really, of a Group B car. Another French version here of the Group B car, uh, the Renault 5 Turbo. Yeah. Um, very, very, very more, much more tight package. As you yeah. say, yeah. short wheelbase. You sure. think if you're going to go around those corners, a long wheelbase is not necessarily the best place to be. Whereas the Citroen didn't really have too much of a history to it in, 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 in the Group B era. The, the, the Renault 5 was very successful. This car actually sat on the dealer's floor in Singapore for 20 years. If you actually look at it closely, you'll find that the right-hand side of the car is a different color than the left-hand side of the car because the sun into the showroom actually faded one side of the car. Oh so my goodness. the collection is not about absolute perfection. It's much more about representing what the cars are. This car actually has both turbo and supercharger, but unfortunately, you know, this car um, was one of the ones that brought the end to the era of, of Group B with the, the crashes, unfortunately, and unfortunately a few fatalities. And it just, the Group E era, that was, we're talking about mid 80s, is that right? Yeah. Early 80s? Yeah, 83 through okay. sort of 86 time frame. It was a time frame when there was a lot of passion in the sport and a lot of technology went into the sport. So that yeah. pa passion really turned into technology, which you think of the Audi Quattro. Yes. The Group B Audi Quattro sport I here. Love the Audis. And, and that is the, the car that really brought us into the Group B era. Hannah Mikola brought this car to the Olympus Rally um, yeah. as one of its first outings, yes. you know, developed undercover and, and was brought. But the technology of this car is very, very different. This car, if we look over here, the Lancia 037. Yeah. This was the predecessor um, to the Lancia Delta S4. Uh -huh. This was the last two-wheel drive car to win a World Rally Championship. Uh -huh. So. We see the development, um, and yeah. <laughs> this era of Group B was really light years ahead of what I grew up with rallying. Yeah. And so if you look at the collection and think about the collection, I grew up in the north of England um, watching rally cars go through um, Grisdale and Kielder Forest in the north of England, yeah. and, 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 and hoping that someday I would get close to owning a car. Yeah. And now, I'm pretty fortunate to have a bunch of them. That's really amazing.